Our story today takes us up on a roof. Let me show you what I have back here. I have a fascia, an overhang, which is the soffit underneath here, and these vented pieces right here are perforated pieces. They're actually a soffit vent. It's designed to take the cooler air from under the overhang into the attic. Let me show you where it goes. Now I'm here at the highest part of the roof, the ridge. Underneath these shingles right here, there's a slot on the roof that runs the entire length. That's called a ridge vent. It's designed to let the hot air of the attic out, pulling the cooler air from the soffit vents into the attic. Unfortunately, it's pulling more than just cool air into the attic. Now back here under the overhang, there's another kind of vent. This one right here. And this is a vent from the bathroom fan, and it should never be in a vented soffit. It's causing the homeowners a lot of problems. Okay, Tommy, let me show you what we have here. Okay. A few months ago, I put in a new bathroom fan, and we noticed this discoloration in these areas right here. Under the roof sheathing. That's right. That's the beginning of mold. So what you've done is you've actually vented the bathroom fan outside but you vent it into a vented soffit. What happens is that soffit pulls that warm, moist air into the attic. In the wintertime, it condenses under the sheathing, causes the sheathing to get wet, causes mold to grow. That's as bad as venting the fan right into the attic.